good crowd on hand already at the Silver Spurs Arena as we are basically just getting underway here in Kissimmee, Florida. We are here for the next four days, 32 hours all told, coverage live on Velocity. I'm Scott Hope, John Craven, Bill Stevens, and Stephen Cox. More than 2,000 cars are here in Kissimmee. And right now, it's time for one of our Black Magic Shining Stars of Kissimmee 2012 moments. This car's on deck right now with Stephen Cox. I have seen a bunch of people coming up around this. This is a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle with a 454 under the hood. This is one of the most special cars we've seen all day. In fact, this particular car is going to be the first Chevelle that's crossed the block. So it's one of the more popular ones out here. The paint on it's fantastic. We'll talk about it when it comes up here. But you Chevelle fans have been starving for the first 45 minutes or so. Let's get this one on the block here in just a few and give you something to cheer for. Something about a 70 Chevelle, Scott. You know, GM did such a fantastic job with their muscle cars from the late uh, mid-60s all the way through the early 70s. But one of the body styles that truly sticks out out is the 70. Look at that hot rod modified 454 under the hood, turbo 400 auto automatic transmission. It's got power steering and disc brakes up in the front. Just a nice, nice entry level, high performance street machine. This yeah, was this one, it was a, there's a 20, 30 year run of cars exactly like this one here. Old school all the way. And this is the one that you want to buy right out of the gate if you're hunting for your first Chevelle. This one doesn't have a ton of documentation or Providence, which always drives the price up. It's got a fantastic fantastic paint job that is fresh paint and really really looks nice and it has those three magic digits just behind each front wheel a four then a five then another four after it which means stay away yeah. from me at a stoplight yeah and uh, that body style was such a home run they it, K it, stayed with it for the next two years that was <laughs> right the last change in style for the Chevelle. you gotta let me know he's fast gotta hit it at 20 you sure? Well, boys, thank you guys very much. Thank you. We'll be back. Back to a potential bidder on the phone on the top left, Kirk Delzell. And, uh, hey, 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 hey. The buyer, the seller, rather, on the uh, bottom left. Reserve is off now at 20,500. now one of our new ringmen on the uh, bottom left of the screen trying to coax a little bit of change out of a gentleman there and that air horn sig uh, signifies a, 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 again somebody's on the phone uh, putting it in a bit <laughs> I thought I thought they had a clown or something working the lobby <laughs> they might but they're not a horn that big right now, if that's a numbers matching, 454 real SS, how much more money are we going to have on the board? There, At least John? another 10,000. Minimum. Yeah, we mentioned the SS badging. Uh, it's made out to look like an SS 454, certainly. There you see the SS uh, badging, but uh, not the real deal, but still sells for 26 grand. 